Hey, Power Diary friends, Danielle here. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the client portal, how to set it up, and how it looks to a client. Because after all, this is for your business and included with your Power Diary account at no extra charge. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and log into your Power Diary account like I've already done. Now I'm gonna go to Setup. I'm gonna scroll down to Client Portal. And here we go. Now, we already go ahead at Power Diary and automatically populate a URL for you based upon the business name that you set up with your Power Diary account. If you wanna change that, you can do so right from here. You also can, these little toggles will turn on and off some different features within the portal. Do you want new clients to log in? Yes or no, you toggle it on and off. Do you wanna show all calendars? Do you wanna show prices? How about showing invoices? I definitely think you should. You could also set what's the earliest a client can make an appointment. One day, two days. I've got mine set at two days because I want to give myself time to prepare for that appointment. You can also limit how far in advance you want clients to make appointments. One month, two months, I got three months. You can go all the way out to a year. Whatever it is to meet your business's needs. How far out they can cancel. How you want to verify your client's identity upon registration. Do you want a text message to go out, which I have it set for, or an email? You set these features to be what your business wants. And at the end, you go ahead and click Save Changes. Don't forget the save changes. If you don't save the changes, your portal won't update. Now, I also wanna make sure you pay particular close attention to the branding. Add your logo here. This is your page after all and your profile. And once you're done, you're all set. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and click here to view your portal. Or when you're ready, you can click copy URL and add it directly onto your website. Log in to client portal. Click here, takes them right to the client portal, which will look like this. Again, here's my branding, here's my business name, and now clients can go ahead, book appointments, manage their appointments, or see their invoices. Now, if they're new, they click book appointment and they get this screen. If they've already got an account, they enter their username and password, their email and their password. If they're not, they click register here. Now they fill out all this information, not too much, just their name, their email, their password, they, what they want it to be, and then the phone number for a verification because I set up a text message verification code. They'll get that code, they'll put it in, and voila, they'll be in the portal. Now, since I've already got Janice Collins, my pseudo account set up, I've logged in and I want to book an appointment. Now, Janice wants to visit the Sandusky location. She needs to do a therapy session and she's gonna see Randy because that's her practitioner. So she clicks it. Now she can see Randy's availability. So it looks like he's got morning and afternoon availability, but I need to go into February. So I'm gonna look at the 8th. And okay, I could do 10 a.m., awesome. So now she can put a note, I've been feeling overwhelmed lately. And Randy will get that note and she'll click book now. There you go. Her appointment is now booked. Randy knows she's feeling overwhelmed and she's ready for her next appointment. Now, and if you look back here and we go to our calendar, you can see that that appointment which is here, sorry about that, is already booked and she's ready to go. She's going on the 8th at 10 a.m. and there's her little note, it's all in the system. Now, if she wants to view her appointments, she can see them all from here. If she wants to cancel, she can go ahead and cancel and it's all done right there. She doesn't have to wait to talk to anybody, it's all done right from the website. Now, let's say she wants to see her invoices. If you've integrated with Stripe, she can pay them all from here. If not, she can download them, but she definitely can see them. And she can also have record of the bills for herself. So that's great. And um, yeah, it's all set up. So now that's the portal. It's super easy. It's easy to access. It's definitely something you should incorporate with your business and it's something that is free of charge within the Power Diary platform. If you have any questions, we got a great help section on our website all about this and I suggest you head on over and check it out. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.